Love Corner is a collaborative effort between 16 beautiful women who are amazing crafters. We all are hosts and spectacular crafters. The link to the playlist on our channels is listed in the description box below. Be sure to subscribe, like, save, and comment. We have all worked so very hard to bring you the best. I was inspired by a sun catcher that Amber Emain made. It was simple but beautiful. I will make one with a Valentine theme. So DIY number one is a Valentine sun catcher. The supplies needed include a mason jar lid, Mod Podge, tweezers, assorted tiny pressed flowers, wax paper, twine, one wooden bead, hot glue, and palm leaf green acrylic paint. The first thing you want to do is make sure the mason jar lid is clean. You do not need the metal inserts, so set them aside for another project. However, I use the lid insert to trace the wax paper circle and cut it to put inside the ring. Using a pencil and a paper heart template, I traced around a tissue paper heart and cut it out by cutting along the pencil line. I set aside the tissue paper heart and painted the ring palm leaf green. Now, however, you may decide you want to use spray paint, but it takes a little bit longer to dry. And also, you need to make sure that you paint the inside of the ring as well as the outside and allow it to dry. It is also a good idea to seal the ring with Mod Podge so it will not scratch when handling it. Tweezers are very important in this project. I use tweezers to create the heart design with the pressed flowers on the tissue heart paper first. Now you need to know how it will look, so I arranged the dried flowers first around the heart. Then I took a little bit of the Mod Podge and I used a toothpick, or you can use a toothpick, May you can use anything else. I just used a tiny amount of glue and gently pressed into place. And when I was done, I set it aside to dry. Now, it is also a good idea to put something heavy on top to make sure that it does not wrinkle with, after putting the Mod Podge on. And I just put mine, I put some wax paper on top and then I put something heavy on top. You also need something to hang it with, so I cut a length of twine about eight inches and I folded it in half and inserted the ends into the wooden bead. So what I did, I um, actually put a little bit of hot glue on there and then I inserted a little bit more and inserted it into the wood bead. And then I used hot glue to attach the bead to the top of the metal ring so the heart was upright. You don't wanna put the bead on the side because then the heart will be sideways or you don't want it upside down either. If you would like more than one bead to be added, you can do that too. I set the decorated wax paper circle inside the ring. Once it was completed, I hung it near some light and it was so nice to enjoy the beauty of nature in the cold winter month. DIY number two, clay hearts. I love heart shapes, so when I saw a cookie cutter that was heart shaped, I immediately thought about something a little romantic. The supplies needed include some crafter square air dried clay, a heart cookie cutter, a cutting mat, wax paper, white chalk acrylic paint, pink 
and red acrylic paint, a black marker, jewels, silver glitter, permanent black marker brush, and flower stamp, and Mod Podge. And you can either use a black marker I had on this, or I had a permanent black marker brush. So either one will work for this project. Now, all I needed for this project was one half of the bar of clay. From that half a bar, I was able to make three hearts, and I think I had a little bit left over that I put back in a sealed plastic bag. I massaged the clay in my hand to warm it so that it would be pliable enough to spread with a rolling pin. Now the rolling pin I use is just for crafts. I used a cutting mat to put the clay on along with some wax paper to make the clay thin enough but thick enough to use a heart cookie cutter. Now, it's nice to add a few drops of water to kind of smooth out the clay. Then I took the cookie cutter and a paper doily to make an imprint. However, the doily imprint was not deep enough and so therefore I just took a wooden block that had a flower on it and pressed it into the clay. I had a dog paw that was used, but I changed my mind, so I ended up uh, just using all flowers. Now the cookie cutter was used to cut out the heart pattern, and then I moved the extra clay surrounding that to make more hearts. I did this two more times for a total of three hearts, and then I took a toothpick that was used to make an opening into the top of the heart for hanging. Now the next time I will use a larger stick to make an opening because it was very small. I had a little tough time of getting the jute through there. And I knew it would be even tougher. I liked the organza ribbon, but I didn't think that would have been any easier. I left them to dry overnight and hoped they would look good after 24 hours without cracking. Well, in the morning, I noticed that two of them were cracked. Now, it's not a big problem because I covered them with paint and kind of put the paint into cracks and basically it looked pretty good. The first one I painted was red, the second pink, and the third white, and I let the paint dry. And they had approximately two coats of each of the paint on. Now you want to allow the flower pattern to be seen through the paint, so just keep that in mind. I placed a gem on the red heart, strung some jute in it approximately 6 inches, and inserted it into the opening at the top of the heart. And the same was done with all three hearts. Now the flower on the white one was outlined with the black paint and then I put a red jewel in the center. For the third heart, I put some Mod Podge on the front and tried to let the flowers show through. This is my least favorite. However, they're all hanging from my branches and they look really nice. Let me know what you think. Now my last DIY, DIY number three, is glass conversation pieces. Having a difficult time conversing with your special someone? How about getting a little help with this next DIY? I was inspired by something I saw on someone's blog. I can't remember the site, but I like the idea. The supplies include 
nine glass decorative filler and these are larger glass beads and they're flat on the bottom that is important for this cardstock paper in white pink and red computer download and printer a cloth bag mod podge an acrylic block rubber heart and love stamp this is from dollar tree black ink scissors tray and window clean. After you have downloaded the sentiments you want to use for your conversation pieces, you need to print them out on white, pink, and red cardstock paper. Cut out the sentiments in a circular fashion according to the printout and apply Mod Podge to the flat glass bead and choose the words you want to use and add the sentiments to the bottom of the glass beads. And once it is dry, it will be translucent and you can see the words. A different sentiment is added to each glass piece. Now you need a place to put the conversation pieces. I had a cloth bag that I purchased from Target and a rubber heart and love stamp from Dollar Tree. I put the heart on the acrylic base, press it into the black ink, and onto the cloth bag. I did this with the word love and the heart. I, once I finished, I threw the pieces in the bag and your special boo will pick out a glass bead and answer the questions such as, what is your favorite food or what is on your bucket list? If you don't want to put them in a bag, there are other options. I had a trinket tray that I thrift flipped last year and I think at the time I had a window clean that was a pumpkin. This time, since it's near Valentine's Day, I found a window clean that said, all you need is love. I adhered that to the bottom of the tray and displayed the glass beads there. What about that for an icebreaker? Well, Z9 Designs family, if you have liked what you've seen, please subscribe, help a girl out, like, save, and comment. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And remember, I have decided to stick to love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. This is from Martin Luther King jr thanks for watching i appreciate all of your comments and i will see you later bye bye